line. I mean, everything's just awesome, man. So it, it's just starting. And, and I appreciate you saying that also. And one of the things that I'm fortunate that I came into the Churros La Catrina game with is experience. Yeah. And it's just like an artist. If you're an artist and you're listening and let's say you did an album, right? And tip, typically, like, obviously, as a local artist, uh, your first album, I'm not going to say it sucks because no one's ever going to say, man, my stuff sucks. But in 20 years, you'll be like, man, that album I did in 2003, dog. Like, man, yeah. man, bro. We should like, throw that away. Yeah, yeah. But but you're not going to say something sucked from six months ago, right? Because mm -hmm. we all think it's, it's fire. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. But with me specifically, with, when I had Stumpies, I learned so much because that was my first, like, real quote unquote product business. Yeah. Because I can go, you know, talk and sell and blah, blah, blah. But this was the first time that I did hundreds of thousands of dollars with freaking marshmallows and pecan pies and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my thing was, I learned, like, oh, do I really need to have a twenty-five, twenty thousand dollar food truck to only be open two or three days a week to sit my butt there for seven or eight hours to hopefully make four hundred bucks? Nah, don't need to do it for the next business. Yeah. When I can go to an event and make two to five hundred bucks in two to three hours. Right, just by having a table. Just by having a table in a freaking tent or whatever it is, right? Right. Yeah. So that's something that I learned as well. You know, so it's. I'm not going to say success leaves clues, but your own success will leave you clues for your next success or mm -hmm. a bigger success. Yeah. Uh, you know, something like distribution and scale, just like music. I mean, yeah, you can go and rap in front of the same 20 people at the local club, or if you get to be in an auditorium or whatever with two thousand or three, four, five thousand people. That's more scale because you have more opportunities for people to share your music or become a fan or become a follower or whatever it is. So there's so many little things that I could go into as far as what I learned from the old business mm -hmm. that is really going to catapult this one. And like something I said earlier, you get smarter like in a relationship. I mean, imagine your first girlfriend. You probably treated her like crap. <laughs> or your first boyfriend. You didn't really know what how to treat a man right. or whatever it was, right? Yeah. But as you grow... There should be growth with your age as well, not just age growth, but there should be like mental growth, emotional growth. Mm -hmm. And with business, I look at it the same way. Was Stumpy's a success? I think so. Was it a failure? Oh, I could tell you a bunch of things that I think I did wrong at the moment. Yeah. But in hindsight, now I'm like, yo, I created all that like literally by myself. By yourself. I, I mean, I had people that helped me here and there. 99% of every item that went out, I personally put the sticker on it. I wow. put the label on it. I packaged it up. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Convenience stores, restaurants, fruterias. Uh, you did the hand work. You did the footwork, Catering. Yeah. The promo, the videos, the pictures, the memes. So that's why with this brand, I come with experience. I'm fortunate. Mm-hmm. You know, there's people putting a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand into a business, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. Right. And just quickly for for those that have any kind of business, I want you to read a book. I hate reading, so listen to it on Audible. By the way, no, I'm serious. I hate reading, but listen on Audible. It's a book called The E Myth Revisited. Okay. The E Myth Revisited, I think, is one of the greatest business books of all time, aside from Blue Ocean Strategy. I'll tell you the E Myth Revisited in less than 30 seconds. You've got the technician, the manager, and the entrepreneur. That's where most small businesses fail. Let me give you a good example. Mm -hmm. I used to deliver to a place, it was a barbecue spot in Austin, Texas, or actually in Cedar Park, I'm sorry. Uh, Slab has three locations, but it wasn't Slab, it was another one. So that place. The guy was a retired or I think injured or retired EMS guy, right? Yeah. Uh, a medic. Came across the money. He was a pit master. Barbecue, backyard pit master, won all these awards, whatever. Came across the money. So what's he do? Oh, let me go and open up a restaurant. Well, guess what? He's never ran a business. He's never had a restaurant. He's never done any of that. Mm. It lasted two years because remember... Technician, manager, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You could be a really good technician, a.k.a. pit master, but it doesn't mean that you know how to manage, right? Right. And third, it doesn't mean you know how to entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you, do you know how to grow the business? 
So that's why he failed, because I would talk to him about this stuff, but sometimes people know better than you, right? And it's okay. It's their business. It's their baby. But it only lasted two years, and it went downhill. Yeah. So with business, that's something that you have to understand. Yeah, in the beginning, you might have to do everything. Or sometimes people just want to keep it just enough to where they can handle. Mm -hmm. That was my problem because I had other things going on. So I was kind of like half in, half out with stumpies. And I'm like, well, you know. Yeah. But it's like these bookkeepers and tax people, they don't want to hire people because they only want to do enough where they can handle. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. And they never grow. So really, like, what we do, unfortunately, myself included, as I have before, we don't really have a business. We just paid and started a job. Yeah. Realistically, because if your business cannot operate without you, it cannot grow without you, it cannot bring in money without you, you don't really have a business. You just invested in a new job. I don't have a job. I don't have a day job. I don't have anywhere that I clock into. Yeah. I survive by the grace of God with other things that I've done also. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is this, I need to distribute and scale to where I can have teams or co-packers that can do all this for me. I don't want to be filling bags every day or whatever right. it is. But in the beginning, that's just what you have to do. I'm, I was fortunate to meet Jason Jones, the co-founder of uh, Vital Farms, the eggs. I think I talked about this on Instagram mm -hmm. a, a couple weeks ago. Jason Jones used to work at AutoZone, and he bought eggs at a farmer's market in Sunset Valley in South Austin. This is like 07, 08. He said, these are the best eggs I've ever tasted. He went back, I think it was a husband and wife team that had the egg company. And he's like, what's the difference in these eggs? Oh, they're pasture free, free roaming, all that, whatever. Who the hell was buying that in 2007, 2006? Right, Nobody right, was. Right. So long story short, him and his wife got with that couple. They invested. I think he said his wife like cashed in her 401k or got money from her 401k. They bought into that business, the mm -hmm. free range egg, whatever. And Jason, because we met for coffee later on, we talked about Stumpies. Now, remember, this is Vital Farms, okay? This is, like, nationwide, right. all over, big time, right? So Jason told me, or in the, the first way I met him, he's like, I would deliver those eggs restaurant to restaurant to restaurant to restaurant. It was, like, time-consuming, and it drains you. Yeah. But it had to be done. Sure enough, Whole Foods picked them up, H-E-B finally went back around because H-E-B at first told them our customers don't want this. Next thing you know, when they see it flying off the shelf at Whole Foods, H-E-B called them. Wow. No. We need you on our shelf. That's crazy. So I'm fortunate to have been able to be in the room or get invited out for coffee and such with people like that who let you know, hey, bro, this is part of the process. Man, that is awesome. Where can people... Uh Find out more about what you got going on, follow you, get more information on what you got for the churros, um, follow you for your business advice. How can yep. people um, get yeah, yeah, so I don't really promote business consulting anymore, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying? I got dragged in the phone on that FaceTime <laughs> and you got a bill or two. Uh, but no, on my personal page, and my personal page, by the way, is really more like comedy and funnier, things like that. But... I've got a resume that speaks for itself, but my true personality is comedic and blah, blah, blah. But the personal page is Hamid Yaz IG, okay? So it's H-A-M-I-D-Y-A-Z-I-G. Or if you're on TikTok, hit me up on TikTok, Hamid Yaz. Uh, now, the new brand, if you look up Churros La Catrina, just look up La Catrina, Churros La Catrina, you'll find that. You'll get, you know, uh, by the way, you can purchase it on Etsy. If you're at home and you're like, man, I'm just in front of my computer, in my phone, jagging around, get on Etsy and look up Churros La Catrina, which, by the way, shipping to San Antonio was like five bucks. I just shipped, it was four. I did four to San Antonio mm -hmm. uh, by SeaWorld, and it was $7.65 to ship four bags of those from Austin. Wow. wow. I was like, damn, that's not bad. And Austin addresses, by the way, Austin addresses like three or four dollars. So I was like, man, that ain't bad. Yeah. But, that's but yeah. not horrible, no. Exactly, yeah. So so my thing also is, yeah, if you just want to <laughs> chop it up on some business or whatever. And like I said, look me up. Just go to Google. And I'm not trying to say it like to be like that. But go Google Hamid Yaz. Go look on YouTube Hamid Yaz because... I come with the, I'm fortunate that I come with experience to be able to help people mm -hmm. 
but also I'm real deal really out here in the street pushing my thing. So I'm not just someone talking about something like I'm actually doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Thank you for coming back. Oh, well, thank you for having me. And just real quick, let me throw this in here for for both of y'all, especially because you know y'all two have been putting on for local artists, local entrepreneurs for that I know at least fifteen years that I personally know of, mm -hmm. at least fifteen years. And for the city of San Antonio to have people like y'all that are consistent, number one, yeah, not fly by night, not do this for a year or whatever, but consistently putting people on and believe it or not and i'm gonna say this and i'll say it, i don't give a damn but by sometimes believing more in artists than artists believe in themselves because that's yeah. what i think i pick yeah. up that's what i pick up from y'all where y'all know this artist got it right but the artist might well you know i don't got no money or well this or well that whatever is regardless of what the artist thinks or not mm -hmm. you give them a platform to yeah. come and showcase what they got because all you need is one person that can change your life, that can give you an opportunity to hear your music. But if you're not getting on the radio, if you're not doing the spins, if you're not doing this, if you're not taking the advice, all you're doing is just like keeping yourself in a box. So I just want to say thank you to both of y'all for having those pla or uh, continuing the platform mm -hmm. For local artists and entrepreneurs to come like just not you know like myself and others to come and talk about what they got going on and show the world what they've been working on behind the scenes and so on so well, thank, thank you to both of you thank you thank you we love it this is what like yeah you live for this if yeah. we can, like this yeah, is our passion no, yeah. like i often say we wake up talking about music we go to sleep talking about music and that's just how our life is take a poop yes. listen to music <laughs> hey mickey did you hear this <laughs> well, whatever it is, whatever it is. But yeah, I just want to say on behalf of not just people from San Antonio, but because y'all deal with people from all over the place, is thank you because it really means a lot, especially me, because I'm in the chair right now, to be able to come get the video clips, go show the world, hey, then look where I was with on Monday night and so on, you know, so... So thank you to and both thank you, you for thank having you. us on your platform. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You like, came on my show. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll stay tuned. We've got brand new music from Upstairs and Aries as well. But right now, Kay Liz with Zooted. Keep it locked. This is the Urban Suite KSYM, San Antonio College Radio.